Hey, Thomas from Field Tennis. In today's video, I am sharing a simple concept with my student, Alan, to whom I would like to thank for letting me use the videos here on YouTube. It's a simple concept that describes the most common shots that we play in a tennis match. And I'm just breaking them down to the shots that we play behind the baseline in a rally situation and the shots that we play inside the court where we can apply pressure. So I just want to also remind you that I post videos like this weekly in my membership section. So if you're interested in that, join the membership section. There's a button below. Just keep in mind that if you're not yet subscribed to Field Tennis channel, so the free subscription, you're not able to join. So first you need to subscribe and then you can join the membership section. When you click the join button, make sure that you watch the explanation video of the different tiers that are possible in the membership section. So access to these videos, weekly videos, where I post clips from lessons are only available to tiers two and three. So if you don't want to subscribe, no problem at all. I will keep posting free educational content on Field Tennis channel. Uh, this is something to, for simple tactics, like to have a very simple overview of tactics. Yes and to have a simple plan for training. Because uh -huh. you know what's going on generally in tennis, then you know what do I need to train, like which shots, yes. which patterns, right? So I'll just hit here from the hand, these balls. So when you're behind the baseline, yes. you're playing mostly big targets, yes? Yes. This one, this one. Yes. So I'm playing generally not super accurate, fast down the line, just deep. Yes. So I'm playing down the line, uh -huh. big target, somewhere, yep. and cross court, somewhere, big target. Yes. So I need to train this. Yes. Yes. And the main ob objective of these shots here is good depth. Yes. Not so much speed, not so much precision. We don't have good precision from so far. <coughs> Speed is not very effective, the ball flies too long, it loses a lot of speed by then. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. So we can't really hurt much opponent with speed. Mm. We just need enough speed so that the ball is not too easy for them. Mm -hmm. And we're going for depth. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So when we are somewhere here behind the baseline, we are in neutral situation, yes. we are building the point, we need to let statistics happen, we don't know yes. where will the ball go, something might happen by chance. Yes. But from here you're practicing big target down the line, big target cross court. Yes. You don't practice short cross courts from here. Right. Okay. Right. You don't practice approach shots from here. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Understand. So it's relatively simple. I'm playing cross court and down the line, mm -hmm. and you can practice that. And you're looking for depth. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can't yeah. create much from here, just by chance. Uh huh. Then when you get a shorter ball, somewhere here, yes, you can now create something, mm -hmm. some pressure for your opponent. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna create pressure with a shorter cross court. You can go smaller targets now, right? Eh? Yes. yes. So if here, if I'm somewhere here, I will now, I need a short cross court. Uh huh. I need a short cross court. And then I'm practicing if I can get a better one like this one, see? Mm -hmm. So I need that skill. I need this shot. Yes. Once I get here, I need this shot to work. Yes. And I need a more precise down the line. Mm -hmm. I need a precise down the line because Maybe with the previous cross court, I stretched my opponent. He's there out wide now, and he yeah. gave me a shorter ball again, cross yeah. court. Yeah. So now I need, I need the precise down the line. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> Got it. So it goes with the targets. Yes. To simplify. Yes. This is like 80% of tennis is this. Of course, you have short <laughs> balls, you have high balls in the middle. Yeah, all kinds of things. Okay, but like what is 80% in 
in tennis is baseline, big targets, inside the court. Do you have a short cross court? Do you have the skill? Mm -hmm. are, you have, are you precise to take advantage of the weak shot that your opponent gave you? Mm -hmm. And do you have a precise down the line shot to keep the pressure? I'm not saying hitting a winner, I'm not saying approaching. You choose, maybe you will, after this one you will approach, maybe you will not approach. I'm just talking about which shot you need. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, on the forehand side, these are the four shots you need. And on the backhand side, those are the four shots you need mm -hmm. to work on. Right? So you're on the forehand, you're behind the baseline, you're getting all sorts of balls, you're practicing deep, deep big target down the line, deep cross court, big target. Inside the court, you're going more precise and more angle on cross courts. Mm -hmm. Yes? So also to give you some idea when you have a ball machine, for example. Yes. Now what am I, what am I supposed to practice? Yes. If you don't see like a simple overview of what's going on in tennis, then you don't see the plan. You don't have mm -hmm. a plan, right? So what you need to practice, you need to practice deep shots, cross court down the line. Okay. And give Makes yourself sense. shorter balls. You set the ball machine for shorter balls. Yes. And you practice short cross courts, top spin, good trajectory, good arc. Mm -hmm. And here, good positioning and just practicing targeting. No, no, not much thinking about technique, just targeting, just trial and error. Mm -hmm. More left, more right. Higher, lower, faster, slower. Mm -hmm. More arc, less arc. Mm -hmm. All right? Makes sense. So this is 80% of tennis. So the coach is then designing when you, you train a player, you make a simple assessment. I'm telling you this because today we're gonna play a little bit so we can assess mm -hmm. how are you doing in these eight shots. How are your forehands general down the lines from baseline? How are your cross courts? Are you able to keep good depth? How's, are you able to hit generally this quarter of the court? Mm -hmm. And then how are you hitting these short cross courts and more precise down the lines? And then out of those eight shots, we're going to see which ones are the weakest and we're going to work on them. And you can work on them simply like, like a ball machine. Yeah. So I just feed balls. I become a ball machine. I feed you balls and you just keep going short cross court 50 balls in a row. Mm -hmm. Trial and error and I can give you some tips. Right? And then, so you basically you isolate one stroke that is causing you problems or it's not good enough. You isolate it and you just do that one stroke mm -hmm. and then you try to incorporate it into a pattern. Mm -hmm. So I can give you, okay, give me one long. So you're going to hit one deep forehand cross court, then I will give you short and you're going to come, okay, now can I find this short cross court? Can you find it? Yeah. Hand and angles and so on. Yeah. We never practice short cross court. Yes, because <clears throat> why do you need these shots? Because otherwise nothing happens. Yeah. You're, play, you're not precise enough. When you're not precise enough, balls go here. And so you don't stretch your opponent. So even you get a shorter ball and you try to do something, but you don't have the precision, mm -hmm. you don't create anything, you're going to hit the ball here, the guy is going to get and give you back a deep ball and you're back to zero. Mm -hmm. Square one. You understand? I understand. So these are the shots that once an opportunity happens from a shorter yeah. ball, are you now able to create pressure or maintain pressure. It, not always the player can defend well sometimes. Yeah, you have to understand. go back to square one. But what's important is that you have precision and that you have the right shot so that, let's say, that this cross court is not too fast. So you have to find the right parameters of this ball. Mm -hmm. Not too fast, enough spin, the right angle and so on. So this trial and error and the coach can guide you. Okay, more like this, more like this, more like this. And then you use this as you play, and it's like, yeah. that's 80% of tennis. Yeah. 
is on the forehand sides are these four shots. Mm -hmm. Bigger targets from there, smaller targets from here. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. And then yes. you, have, you, you, you have it in the database. Yes, and then you work on the rest. Eyeball here. Yeah, yeah. Running forehand in defense. All that. Moon ball, moon ball. Low slice, low slice. Mm -hmm. Okay.